Hello and welcome to this video on the topic of biometrics and how biometrics are used. In this video today, we'll explore first, what are biometrics and what is the meaning of the word biometrics? Then we'll take a look at why biometric authentication is important. And finally, we're gonna look at several types of biometric authentication. Are you ready? Let's get started. Our first question is, what are biometrics, or what is the meaning of the word biometrics? The best way I like to get at this meaning is to explore the word history of the roots of the word. So the first root in this word is the word bio, and bio comes from ancient Greece, and it just means life or anything that is living. And one good way to make this connection is to think of all the words in the English language that have the word root bio in them. You can see the connection between all of these words. They all relate to living creatures or life in some way. In the study of biometrics, we focus on human characteristics. Now we'll take a look at the word root metric. Metric is also a Greek root, and it means to measure. And of course, measurement can happen in many ways. We can measure length, we can measure height, we can measure distance. There are a lot of different ways we measure. So here we like to think of measurement as collecting data. When we put these two word roots back together, biometrics are measurements of human characteristics. So our next question is, what types of human characteristics can be measured with biometrics? The types of characteristics that biometrics look at fall into two categories. The first category is physical characteristics. These are things like our fingerprint, what your face looks like, the structure of your hand, the structure of the veins in your hands, your voice, and even the structure of your eyes. The second category of characteristics we look at in biometrics is behavioral. These are the things you do, like the way you type on a keyboard, how fast you type, how you move a mouse, the way you text, or even the way you walk, your gait. The next thing we're going to explore is why are biometrics important? How do they apply to our own lives? This brings us to biometric authentication. Basically, if you can confirm who you are with a physical or behavioral characteristic that is uniquely you, it helps prove your identity. Biometric authentication allows us to move past passwords and ID cards, which can sometimes be not as secure, and allows us to scan our physical and behavioral characteristics to confirm our identity. Biometric authentication takes place because of computer science. If you've ever used your fingerprint to open a cell phone or seen facial recognition to open a cell phone, you've seen biometric authentication in action. So let's take a look at a few common types of biometric authentication. The first one is face recognition. Face recognition measures the unique patterns in your face that are exclusive to you. Computers analyze your face and compare it to the data that they've collected on the structure of your face. The next type of biometric authentication we're gonna look at is the iris scan. The iris is the colored part of your eye. Iris recognition identifies the unique patterns in your own iris to confirm your identity. Earlier, we talked about behavioral characteristics as being a part of biometric authentication. Behavior evaluation analyzes your movements, including your computer keystrokes, your handwriting, the way you walk, and how you use a mouse, and other movements in order to determine your identity. Hand geometry is another aspect of biometric authentication. With hand geometry, they measure and record the length, thickness, and widths and surface area of a person's hand, which is unique to each person. And this can confirm your identity. A person's voice and speech patterns can also be a physical characteristic that computers can recognize to help confirm your identity. When you speak into a voice recorder, you create sound waves, and these sound waves are unique to each individual. And of course, the one aspect of biometric authentication that you might be most familiar with is fingerprint scanning. Fingerprint scanners capture the unique patterns of ridges and valleys on each individual's finger. 
Every individual has an, their own unique set of fingerprints. Many smartphones and laptops already use this type of biometric authentication as a password to unlock. Your biometrics are exclusive to you, and they're the safest and most secure way to confirm a person's identity. So for your digital assignment, what I'm going to ask you to do is to write a 3-2-1 summary using this template. In your summary, first include three facts that you learned about biometrics or biometric authentication. Then include two questions that you still have on the topic. Finally, write an opinion that you have on this topic. Type your answers on this side of the page. Your work will be graded out of 15 points. Here's the rubric. And good luck!